Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Uh, welcome to Arcade Paradise. This is a demo for a game developed by Nosebleed Interactive. Uh, it's being published by Wired Productions. And there's kind of this, uh, I, I guess it's called Steam Next Fest, uh, which starts October 1st. It goes until October 7th. And the demo is actually going to be available during that time and possibly a little bit longer. Um, I believe it launches, oh gosh, the, the sound is kind of loud here. So I'm gonna, just gonna go into audio. We're gonna turn this down just a bit here. Cause I really like the audio in this game. So uh, it's really good, really good times. But um, I think the game or the demo, I think is gonna launch on October 1st. I think either five or 6 p.m. British summertime which is either noon or 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, by the time you even watch this video, it might already be out. Um, I will have a link down in the, uh, the video description that will take you to the Steam page. Uh, you can also log in via your Steam client and just go and search for Arcade Paradise and you will be able to uh, add it to your wish list. If you guys think this might be a game that you're gonna to wanna to pick up down the road, definitely add it to the wish list. Now again, this is just a demo, um, and it's a very early demo, and the little Tweety Bird told me that development is most likely well past what we're gonna see in this game. So again, this is kind of a, a very early demo just to kind of give us a taste of what this game's gonna be all about. But for me personally, it actually clicks a lot of the right buttons. And I think it's a game that my viewers, you guys, are really gonna enjoy. So if you do like it, be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment down in the video description of what, you th what your thoughts are of the game. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about my thoughts as well. So um, let's, let's actually hear from Dre, who's the uh, CEO. Uh, and I think he's like the game, uh, what is it called? The game director for Nosebleed Interactive. So away we go. Drum roll, please. Loading time, loading time. There we go. Hi, I'm Dre from Nosebleed Interactive. Hi, Dre. Creative director on Arcade Paradise. Creative director. Thank you so much for downloading the demo. The team You're have been welcome. working really, really hard to make this demo. We're all really excited to get you to play. The game's going to be releasing next year, so that gives us some extra time to add some of the really cool stuff that we always really Sometime want to Sometime in 2022. To that extra layer of polish. So, please make sure to wishlist and follow Nosebleed Interactive and Wired Productions on social media to keep up with all things Arcade Paradise. Anyway, enough of me. It's time to dive into the shoes of Ashley and start your first day of work. Awesome. Yes, definitely, absolutely wishlist this game on Steam. Um... I think a lot of people are going to like it, and I'm, I expect the game to get much better than it is right now. So, welcome to Arcade Paradise, just like Par... Okay, let's stop singing. Okay, wait a second. I got to get my... Um, there we go. Uh, so, you can actually use a controller, uh, or you can actually use your mouse and keyboard. Um, I, right now, just in the demo, there's some things I feel we can do better with... Uh, mouse and keyboard and then there's other things I think we can do better with uh, the controller so I do have an Xbox 360 controller I've got a, I'm using an old wired controller I know like people are like Xbox 360 that was before I was born um, but here's Hello, our long Ashley. oh this is your father calling uh oh welcome at long last to the real world and real responsibility but Bob. King Laundry was among my first investments in Grindstone not an important one. Honestly, I'd forgotten about the dump. But with Aww. shrewd management, nope. perhaps even an ungrateful and capricious teenager like you can make it a success. Maybe Let's so. Let's go over the basics one more time. Pay attention. First, take a basket of laundry and load it into an empty machine. So here's our basket of laundry. Um, so press E or... A, if you can press E on the keyboard or A on the controller. So I'm using the controller 
right now, and you hold it down to load the washer. Time stood idle is time wasted. Maintenance and cleaning are your responsibility. Any trash, pick it up and dispose of it. There's a dumpster around the side of the building. Okay, so now we're going to have to look around for some trash. Uh, oh. I love all the retro sounds in this game. Oh. Almost full. Okay, so once you can see there are at the lower left, our trash bag is full. So now we're gonna have to run out front here. Whoa. Press A near the dumpster. Wait, what was that? Whoa. Okay. Press A to empty your trash bag. Now this is like a little mini game, so you kind of have to hit A and then I think you have to get it right in the red zone on, on the little thing in the left. So let's see let's see how poorly I can muck this up. Not Excellent. terribly bad. So rating a, so I guess like the A is the best no, I don't know what the rating system is. At the end of the wash cycle, your watch will alert you with an important beep. Okay. Remove the wet items and transfer them to a tumble dryer. Okay, so here we go. I'll be I'll be honest though, I have not been to a laundromat where someone else does my laundry Next, before. I'm not saying they don't exist. The other small jobs. Just have your never seen it. Is your livelihood. Broken machines, scattered trash, or blocked toilets will lose customers. No one wants to come to a Did someone say laundrette. blocked toilets? Fix broken machines. Collecting trash and unclogging the toilet will help maintain your business's reputation. Your watch or PDA will sometimes alert you to jobs that need attending. The WC is blocked. All right, so we got to go. The water closet is kind of like the European term for restroom. So we got to get the clean. Oh, gosh. It looks like my toilet in real life. Oh, gosh. Plunge. Oh, gosh. Oh, we got turd damage. Oh. Wait. Okay, so we kind of have to rotate. Really? Okay, plunge. Oh my! Oh my God! Once the clothes are dry, take them out and place them ready for the customer to collect. What was with the hair that was on the toilet rim? That's freaking disgusting. All right. So last but not least, we drop off the clean washing over here, and boom. I guess at rank S is maybe superior. I think I did a superior job. What do you think? Uh, see, doing laundry will generate cash as soon as it's finished. Okay. Uh, press A to pick up the back room key. Mm -hmm. Remember, I'll be keeping tabs. So arrive on time, keep the place clean, and don't cut corners. Look, Ashley. I know at your age, garment sanitation hardly seems glamorous, but nothing in life comes free. For once, for once, show me you're capable and that you can be trusted. Otherwise, well, the packing plant always needs fresh meat. And fix the toilet. Sometimes your watch will alert you with important events. You've received a new chat message. Go to the office and turn on the PC. All right. Oh my gosh, that's like a dual five and a quarter floppy. This must be like in the 80s. Or like literally 1990. Hey, super nerd, your first day as manager. Let's see, have you had the 
patronizing speech from Dad yet? Erg, it's like he's punishing me. I'm 19. I can babysit a laundromat. I've got half a degree in business management. Really, that? Okay. Half a degree equals no degree. His words. So now he thinks I've got zero ambition, but what can I do stuck here? Anything. Tidy, play games, shop, maybe even <gasps> earn some cash. Have you emptied the machine hoppers yet? The hoppers? Hoppers, those things that catch the coins. As long as the laundromat's open, you'll be steadily making money, but you have to empty the coin, uh, the coins from the machines. Do it now. Go around, gather all the coins, and put them in the safe. All right. And then we hold Y to exit out of the PC. So I guess, let's see, press B to crouch and access the machine hoppers. All right. Are we supposed to, is it th this one or like this? I noticed that we can't access this change machine here, but again, maybe it's just because it's a demo. Oh, here we go. $137, holy moly. Okay. $250, how, wait, how did I get so much? Like beating the game already. Ninety-six dollars. The washing machines are token operated. Remember to remove the cash from the token machine regularly and put it in the safe in the office. Okay, so here's the token operating or the token machine. All right, so we've got five hundred and sixty-one bucks. Here is the safe. Deposit, or sorry, press A to deposit. So now we get to rotate. Oh, you rotate around, and then the safe kind of has a little notch right there. Okay, and then it kind of zooms in. My controller's vibrating. And um, so you just press A, and then you go to the next. It, it doesn't matter which way you go. Just when you see that little zoom in right there and your controller starts making you feel kind of special, um, <laughs> you know it's time to click. There we go. So only money placed in the safe can be spent. You've received another new chat message. Okay. Oh my gosh, I emptied them. Oh, reply. And, holy cow, there was an absolute fortune in the arcade cabinets. Ah, those things. I bought them years ago for the customers. Dad loathed the idea, but I thought they had a certain appeal. Let's see, what if I bought new, or sorry, what if I bought more newer games, better machines? If customers hung around while their clothes were spinning, the cabinets would make more money than the laundry itself. I ordered those three over the World Wide Web from Arcade Mania. I'll find you the detail. Well, if it's the World Wide Web, then we're kind of looking at like 1994, 95. Because that's kind of really when the... Well, you couldn't even really do online business back in that, in that day either. So here's the website, open up Arcade Mania and buy your first arcade cabinet. All right, so we have Stack Overflow and Strike Gold. Um, I think both of these are $500. I haven't played Stack Overflow, so we'll buy that one. Confirm. So well done, your new machine will be delivered tomorrow morning, all right. Business is open from 8 a.m. until 11 p.m. and we will generate profit while you're on the premises. You can check the time on your watch by holding that button or, oh, I guess we're in the controller so it won't, it won't go back and forth between keyboard and controller. Uh, you can end the day by heading to the bus stop opposite the King Wash. All right. All right, so now we've only got
Let's see, is there any... Yep, so now we've got a bunch of laundry out here. Come on. There we go. We really need to have like some rubber glove update uh, upgrades or something. The thought of like touching like other people's dirty laundry is just. Ugh. Race chaser, racer chaser. My bad. Oh, it's Pac-Man. I love how on the small screen it's literally Pac-Man. Oh gosh. Oh. He went that way. Oh, oh, he got me. Oh, no. Now, one of the neat things about this game is it's it's a fully, like each game, I think there's like 30 fully realized arcade games in this game, which is pretty cool. Oh no. I want to see what the power up does. Oh, it's a tank. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Ooh. Busted. All right, let's see how we're, our clothes are doing here. <laughs> oh gosh, we still have a lot of time left. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, over, ah, I just closed it out. We're, oh, my mother mouse, oh my gosh. Let's see. Yeah, over 35 custom made, fully realized games inspired by retro titles from early vector games up until the 32-bit era that you can play. All right, so I guess I'll just do, oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh no. Oh, this, oh my gosh. Are you kidding? It's so hard for me to, what the heck? It's so hard for me to play this. If I could, if, if I could only, if I could literally only, oh gosh, go the other way. Uh oh, all right. I think the wash is complete. Yeah, if I could play that with the keyboard, I think that would be a little bit easier. But I would love I would love to see kind of like a virtualized air hockey table. I think they're supposed to have pool tables in the game later on. Um, but oh, I would love to see air hockey or foosball. Foosball would be kind of hard to do, I think, on a like on a. Um, video game. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be. What do I know about it? Okay. Press A to clean gum. We've discovered a hidden package. So you get like 20 bucks or so every time you find some gum. Thirty bucks on that one. A 
I love the reflections. I think that's really well done. The only thing that I can really say that it's not a major gripe, but I would like to see customers like, you know, sitting around waiting for their laundry to, to be done. You know, customers walking in off the street, dropping off their laundry. Um, and again, the, the developer wouldn't say yay or nay on that. So I'm going to take that as that we're definitely going to get people someday. But <laughs> again, it's an early demo, so we just we got to wait and see. So we're just kind of getting like the basics of how the game's going to work. And honestly, like I said, it's kind of got that, you know, work your way up, upgrade your, your, your shop and make money. Oh, our bag is full. Let's see if we can uh, sink it this time. Do I, I think I actually have to hold that. Lights. Do I have to hold A down? Remind me to hold A down next time. Oh, come on now. Thirty more bucks. I think some of those will be coming online here in a second. Twenty bucks. Okay, why was that a different rank? What did I do wrong? Oh, you can use the top ones too. That's cool. Oh gosh. Oh, machine is still working. Okay. Let's go see if we can find some more garbage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 11 p.m. Closing time. Now, what happens if I leave... See if you stay too late after closing. Oh, you'll pass out wor at work. Passing out at work means you'll be late in the next day. You'll be late. They need to say late for the next day and miss out on profit and any deliveries. Okay. Catch the bus outside to go home. I don't want to go home. I want to find more garbage. Oh, is it full? Sweet. Oh, gosh. Okay, now the bag's full for sure. All right, let's try this again. You gotta hold A. All right, hold a release. Awesome. Awesome. 30 bucks. Okay, so we got 55 seconds on the top. Sorry, keys went for ice cream and haven't come back yet. Okay. Um, four bucks. 
12 bucks. Now, I hope we can eventually, um, you know, uh, make profit from the vending machines, too. I think that's, that's something that's rather important. Okay, this is going to be done here. Oh no, I'm falling asleep. I'm gonna have to see like what time is it or what time it is. Um, how do you look at your watch again? Oh gosh, we're gonna pass out. Run! Run, 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 run. I think you have to, oh gosh, no! Go home and rest. <laughs> Time spent gaming, two hours, 10 minutes. Ah, oh, we got there just in time. So here's our new arcade cabinet. Whoa. All right, so we've got, let's see, arcade machines are usually delivered in the morning. Next door garage, storeroom. I bet all that back there is everything that we can expand into someday, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Play, place your empty machine in one of the slots. Uh, stack overflow. Sure, that one. You can open the map anytime and move cabinets around by holding the this key. Really? Uh, it's not doing it for me. All right, so we've got one load that was from last night. Five bucks for that one. Not much. Rank C. It probably kind of had that overnight stank, you know. I don't know. Maybe not. But this is basically kind of uh, everything you do in the demo. Um, I haven't gotten... Well, I've gotten a bit further than this, so I don't want to give too much away. But... Um, this is kind of what you do, just getting started. So guys and gals, let me know what you think. Slap the like button if you think, hey, this has got potential. Uh, personally, I think it does. And you know, I would say I would definitely say so if I thought it was like turds. I definitely would say, yeah, this is not what I crap. Okay, I'm not going to complain. I got an S rating on that. I still did. I, I felt like I didn't do my best job, though. Uh, but yeah, I would I would totally tell you guys if I thought this game was yeah. Um, but again, no word on pricing yet or an actual release date. Um, I don't I'm not even sure yet if it's going to be released into early access. Um, it might and I tell you what, I will find out for you guys, and I will let you know. Because I'm going to do another video uh, after this. We're going to continue on a little bit deeper into the demo. And and I am going to try to kind of get as far into the demo as I possibly can. So let me know what you guys think. Slap the like button if you want to see more of Arcade Paradise. Again, I'm going to have the link down in the video description. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you want to get updates and when I you know, post more content about this or other games, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Also, huge shout out to everybody subscribed. Uh, we just hit 85,000 subscribers earlier today. Uh, today is October 30th, 2021. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. But uh, that's it. Gonna, that's going to be it for me. <laughs> for me for now i am bradham 73 thank you so much for watching arcade paradise 
Bye for now.